It'll certainly be a tough clash between those two sides, and I'm sure Diervolt and Constant have got the boys fired up for that clash. And our second live game of the weekend is Gaas Fontaine, who play host to Menlo Park. Is this usually Jan, one of the biggest matches on the calendar for you boys? Yes, Menlo is always a derby game because uh, they are one of our neighbouring schools, just like Waterkloof. So it is, it is going to be a big match. And I think if you look at the, the statistics, we're actually even with the wins and the losses against each other through the years. Yeah, and looking ahead to this weekend, you guys must be quite excited to, to have the TV cameras there to showcase what you guys can do live on TV. Yes, we're uh, extremely looking forward to this weekend's match, all of us. I even spoke to um, some of the Menlo guys at practice yesterday, at the Blue Bulls trials practice, and they even said they're looking, also looking forward to it. And Jan, tell me, how's the season gone so far? Now, our season has been good so far. I think we had two losses against the RTS Middleburg and Nelspreit. But we've beaten our score to Nikwa on a tour with one point. And then last weekend was our biggest win. And how's things going with the Blue Bulls trials? You must be pushing quite hard to make the Craven Week squad. Yes, we're all working hard for that because I think it's every boy's dream in um, Pretoria to play for the Blue Bulls, even Craven Week. So we're all working hard and playing our hard out on the field. All right, fantastic, Jan. All the best for the weekend and good luck. Thank you very much, man. Have a lovely day further. Justin, can you tell me a bit about your team and how the season's gone so far for the Menlo Park boys? I think that this year we have a lot of strike on the last year. I think we've lost three games in the last year. But we've worked hard, we've looked 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 hard. Um, our span is sterk voorbereid for Saturday's wedstrijd. And then, I think the man is ook op recht over. And this weekend, you guys have got a massive game against Gaasfontein. Going to be a tough one. Yeah, this is the last few years. It was nog elke keer the first time it's a great wedstrijd. Last year, they played on us well. We had a neerslag and a verloor. But this is where people have their heads to up. And we work for it for a new win. Justin, is there anyone that you try look to emulate on the field or look up to as a role model? Um, uh, I I ook John Smith zeer flank. Hij was voor het boy op kijk van mijn van Kleins was. We altijd sprong op zij geweest. Het raakte spullen ze zij. Maar toen dan ook komen al Hendrik voor de zij. Fetcher, wat die nieuwe oud mij weer gevat heeft. En ja, ik denk op die stijl. Hij zijn niet op die stijl met springboekje, maar het is Hendrik voor de zij. Hij is een van die beste zes flanken in de wereld. Nou, nou zijn om Richie Moko alweer zien. It's obviously a very big game against Gaasfontein this weekend. Is there any type of motivational team talk that you've got prepared for the team this weekend? Uh, Alright, cool Justin, thanks very much for joining us and good luck for the weekend. Well, some interesting comments there from the two captains, Gaas Fontaine and Menlo Park. Looking very good this year. I can't wait to see what happens in that clash. Well, guys, that's it for this week here on The Wrap. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at School Sports Now and like us on Facebook. To find out what times those games are on Saturday, you can go to our website, schoolsportsnews.co.za. For me, Gideon Greaves, we'll see you next week.